Made Up is the eight-part biofictional story of the making of Made Up with Danny Volk, The Akron Sessions. In this first episode, Rosa, an arts administrator in Akron, Ohio, invites Danny Volk to town to conduct an artist interview. As Danny leans on Rosa to support his artistic process, Rosa finds her best laid plans are at risk. Meanwhile, in a failed attempt to get Danny Cammer ready, he and his best friend Laura stumble upon a problem, the solution to which leads to the project's signature interview style. Mm-hmm. So, how was your drive? What is Chicago? Is it seven hours away? Oh, no, 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 no. It's like six. Oh, that's not bad. But then you stop to eat, or you stop to pee, and then, you know, there's like a, there's yeah. this one rest stop that has a windmill, so I always have to stop because Instagram. And then, I actually don't like taking the turnpike. I prefer back roads. Well, they're not actually back roads, but they're just not the turnpike. It just saves money. It just doesn't save time. But that's okay, because I really like the view. So, all in all, I'd say seven hours. Okay, well, we're glad you're here. So where are we now? Um, the production team got here a little late. You know what? I don't really want to do video. Let's just do it live. What? You know, I've been thinking about this, okay? So I just think it should be less about the video, less about the edit, and just more about the lens, you know? Just like, single shot. So it starts off with that lady and she's at the fire hydrant washing herself and then you look up and you see Janet in the balcony and she's just like skipping through the whole thing. And it's like somehow it's like set in the 50s even though it looks like the future but I think that's because it was made in the 80s. Wait, uh, hold on. When I think of you... No, just, okay, hold on. We set aside a significant amount of money for video production for this project. We negotiated the contract, we signed it, we paid them. So if we cut the video now, we'll lose out on all that money. <gasps> when I think of you. So let's just go with what we have planned. They're here, they're set up. So let's just go with it, okay? And the social media announcement went out a little late. Wait, did I do that? Well, I mean, you did that by not doing that, so I guess. On a scale of one to 10, is that a problem? Is one mean it's not a problem, or does it, does it mean it is a problem? Man, I don't know. I mean, one is so low. Like, if for money or food or gas, like, it's totally a problem. But there are other things that, if the number were lower, it would be better, like, um, like golf or viral load or earthly desires. It, it's fine, Danny. It's not a problem at all, okay? It'll be great. Oh. Oh no, Laura. Uh, okay, um, meet me at the performance area in 10 minutes, okay? I have to go do a stage check, so I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Okay, 10 is not a problem. I really, really like Akron a lot, like, and I, I kind of only just recently started thinking about that, but I kind of found that when I started going other places, the people weren't the same. You know, the people here are just decent, and there's this kind of sense of, oh, we're all in this together. And like, I can have a great conversation with a guy who's bagging my groceries, you know, mm -hmm. who's like 18. You know, I mean, I just feel like people are really open to talking to you. And, you know, there's just a sense of like shared, kind of, there's just kind of a collective community sense here, I think. Laura. Hi there. So, this is the ladies' bathroom, huh? Do you like it? I do indeed. How different is it from the men's room? Oh my god, tons. You know, actually, I've never been in there. Yes, you have. Tons. What's this box? It's, oh, it's, it's, it's for tampons. tampons. I think they're used. That would be the uterine lining. And then this is where you get them? Do you have a quarter? Oh, you don't need one. It's just like toilet paper. You don't have to pay for toilet paper in public restrooms, you know? That makes sense. Just kidding. <sighs> Did you want to see a tampon? How was your drive? Good, it was about seven hours. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay, we just need a place to do his pre-show makeup. Oh, I'll just, I'm sorry. No, no, come in, it's no problem at all. 10. Um, you know what, I'll just wait outside. I don't want to be in your way. Well, I mean, do you plan on using the sink? 
You're gonna use the stall, right? It has a door and like, it's like your private room. We won't even know you're here. No, no, I I'll just wait outside. I mean, I've heard the sound of peeing before, if that's what you're thinking. I mean, or pooping if you plan on doing that. I don't think you're helping. I would not be able to smell a stink bomb if it went off in here. Unless, of course, that stink bomb smells like whatever it smells like in here, because then I would definitely smell it. What is that? Is that a flower? It smells like a, like a gecko. I'm so sorry. No, like Geico. No, that's also the lizard insurance. Why can't there be a bathroom where everyone feels welcome? Why do we insist on making things weird? Seriously though, it smells like a lady ginkgo in here. Well, I guess what I'm saying is, I don't really know what a lady ginkgo tree smells like. Men in the mirror. Holy shit. I don't really like curse words, but it smells a lot like that. Hmm. What are you doing? It's fine, we just need a place to do his pre-show makeup. Is that all right with you, sir? His makeup? Did I walk into the ladies room or what? Oh, is it the word lady that you don't like in Lady Ginkgo? Because I think I hear it now. Nah, this is the men's room. So, what the fuck are you doing? Excuse me, sir, this is an art museum. What's your language? He can't go out there looking like this. He just needs a little bit of a touch-up. Everyone on TV does it, even the men. I'm just a little too shiny. And a little dark around the eyes. Dark? Bags. Bags? Totes. So I just need to do his pre-show makeup so he doesn't end up on stage looking like that. But I still look like that. That's because we keep getting interrupted. Well, this is a good one. Um, my hair does not sink into fine lines and wrinkles. Kind of rolls over them. But uh, this is not really my hue. I'm more of a warm cashmere. Oh my god. Laura, I was only supposed to be here for 10 minutes and then I needed to be on stage. Well, then you need to go. Well, what about my face? Well, I can't go on on stage with you and do your makeup. What am I supposed to do? Akron, I thought it was a really strange place. It wasn't a city, it wasn't the country, it wasn't rural, it was, it was odd to me. Um, and since I've been here, and I work for the university, um, I've realized that Akron has become something um, that's really intimately awesome in terms of artists who work together to, I don't know, like make shit happen fast and in the spirit of, actually like insane clown posse spirit of big love, family.